I think it's really hard to put a he word on it. He said it in the book. Okay, you said it in the book. That's when I knew the markets were rigged. And I, it's meant. disgusting that you're trying to parse your words now. Do you? Okay, do you, you think can't the say that. You are, quoted, you are quoted that way in the book, but let, okay, let, let's walk. Let's walk hold. through so an do, example. Do you, do you say? It? Do you believe it or not? Because you said it. Let me walk you through an example. It's a yes of, or no question. Do you believe it or not? I believe the markets are rigged. Okay, so there and, you go. And I, and I also think that you're a part of the rigging. So if you want to do this, let's do this. I, I, I really so, do. So my question to Bill, if he's launching these accusations. What, I'm what, launching accusations. What market data do you use to price trades on direct edge? We use the direct feeds and the SIP in combination. No, no, no. I asked you a question. Not what you use to route. What do you use to price trades in your matching engine on direct edge? We the use SIP. The, we use the direct feeds. No. You yes, we SIP. do. We and then let me talk. Look, you had a 300-page commercial, okay? So <laughs> well, let, let me talk. We use direct feeds to price trades. We are not as fast as the fastest HFTs. What we've done is we've slowed down HFT's ability to react on our exchange, which means that if anyone in this room, if anyone at home, if a, if a mutual fund or a hedge fund gives an order to IEX and it's our responsibility to price it, HFT cannot make that same, order. They have the same HFT customers that we do, only we say they're providing a valuable let's, service let's in the market. Let's just try to change they the subject a off the market. Right. Do we have computerized trading on our market? Absolutely. I think the word high frequency trading should be eliminated from the industry vocabulary. You used it 20 there's, times in the book. There's computerized trading. It's not his book. There's computerized, yeah, it wasn't my you're, book. You're quoted. <laughs> Computerized trading and computerized scalping. People can trade with computers, they will till the end of time. People use computers to scalp. They've always looked to game the markets. You cannot scalp trades. You cannot scalp orders that are on IEX. It's great to see Bill instantly throw at Brad the idea that all he's doing all this to promote a business model. Well, he said they, that, they, and he the, also said, shame he, on you. How do you yeah, react yeah, to no, that? So, yeah, well, shame. So, so, say it again. So, so I think he's outrageous. I think he's part of the problem. Are you, you know, an investor who, in Brad's exchange? No. Michael, I'm no, just asking for full disclosure. Call me kooky. Not. I'm being a journalist. Are you insane? I didn't, no, I, I'm not. I didn't go, I'm trying I didn't to do my looking, job. I didn't even go looking to write a book about him. I was just trying yeah. to figure out what the hell was going on in the stock market. And, and big investor after big investor said, there's one guy who's on, an honest broker in all of this. He's come into office and explained how this, all this works. And, and go talk to him. He's the only, buddy, only guy on Wall Street who can actually tell you so, the truth so about the So for the, the record, you're, you're, you're not insane. And what I take the biggest well, issue you. with is BATS, Direct Edge, they didn't exist 10 years ago. And we became the biggest stock market in any given day in the United States by going to our customers, proving we had a value proposition, and winning their business. We didn't do it by trying to scare people. And I don't think it's true, and I don't think it's right. Well, let you let Goldman Sachs', Sachs, Sachs, Sachs investment in my exchange as a sign of corruption, and his backing of his exchange is a sign of uh, virtue. And, 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 and you didn't call me. There's a difference. The same thing. There's there's a, there, why is there a difference? Because the, the backing of me is bad and the backing of you is good. Because How is it different? Because they, they're a financial, they they've invested in your, the investors in our exchange don't trade on our exchange. This is part of the problem, right? I mean, Bill, again, I say the sky's blue, Bill say the sky is red, right? This company, the, this, the, this building was owned by people who traded here for 200 years. Is he always years. like this on the show? This is insane. Um, this, this, this what you say is insane. I visited Bats. I interviewed people. No, you people do who, not. That, yes, that is false. That's that not is false. Absolutely I, I, false. I, that's not false. I, I toured it. I had a tour you of did the place. That, that is untrue. It's, what do you mean it's untrue? I was there. Give me a date. Was, what date? February 5th. February Last, 5th, what year? 2013. Okay, we're going to follow up with CNBC sure. about where Michael Lewis was on February 5th, 2013. Were you in Kansas City, Kansas City or New York? For, I was with Brad Katsuyama when I visited. You can't hear them. You were in Kansas City on we February 5th, 2013? Because no, no. that's where we're located, by the way. If you, if you wondered no, no, about no, no, no. it, no, no, no. I visited. I wanted to see where the mat, where the high frequency traders hooked hooked up. Look, you go to a data brat, center. With the, with you, going to a data center and standing outside and saying you talk to us is not the same thing. No, no, okay, I so be honest that, with yourself. No, so the other thing that we, so the so the question was, you you. There's actually no point in talking to somebody who's just throwing dust in the air.